Hey everybody, it's Pendragon, and today's video is brought to you by W Energy. So I'm going to keep things short and sweet. W Energy is a clean energy drink that has no sugar, no calories, and comes in a variety of delicious flavors, including Galaxy Grenade and Dragonade. Not only does it give you no jitters and no crash, but it's chock full of vitamins and amino acids, which are great for you. Use promo code Pendragon for 10% off of your order and give it a shot today. And now, on to the video. Hey everybody, it's Pendragon, and welcome back to more Super Mario 64. So last time in Super Mario 64, we wrapped things up and beat the Lava Land, and we actually began things in Shifting Sandlands, which is this little, um, <laughs> glitchy wall because, you know, you can kind of clip through a bit. But I think that was just a texture error that might get fixed in a patch, maybe, if Nintendo ever sees this. <laughs> but anywho, um, before we get into today's episode, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the question of the day. But before I do that, uh, I just wanted to make a couple announcements. So, um, as you guys might know, I do voiceover work on the side, so I did actually land a couple roles um, in some small fan dubs and such. So one of them I'm in is like Horamiya, so that one's going to be a pretty fun one when it comes out. Uh, I actually went through a lot of my roles that I've already done, and I actually have over 20 credits, which is pretty cool, because, you know, it, it's really showing that I'm putting myself out there as an actor and I've just been doing more auditions and everything and you know I've just been branching out really and I feel like this helps me a lot with the YouTube channel I don't know if you guys have noticed that sometimes I can sound more consistent with some of the voices or I'm willing to kind of put myself out there way more than what I kind of used to because you know when you're first starting out you're a little bit more reserved even if you've done it before and you're coming back uh, to YouTube after you know years like I did um, it's a nice little change, and I feel like it helps a lot with just entertainment in general. But now enough of that, enough about that, um, I'll make sure to keep you guys updated and everything on it and let you know when stuff is posted and comes out. So enough about that, let's get into the question of the day. So today's question of the day is, which Mario character do you believe deserves their own video game spin-off? So, there are actually quite a few who deserve a nice spin-off. I think Waluigi deserves to have his own game series since Wario got his. Um, I believe Waluigi might have like one game or maybe a, another game. I know he was originally introduced, you know, to be like Wario's partner for um, sports and such, especially for like Mario Tennis, I believe is when he made his debut. But I would like to see some more side characters get some love. Because Yoshi got his own spin-off, which was nice. And so did Princess Peach, I believe, briefly. Although she might have only got like a couple games, maybe one or two games. But it would be nice to see more of the characters get um, get some screen time that they deserve in the video games and just get the love they deserve. So comment below which character you believe should get their own spin-off series, and let's hop on in. Oh, and speaking of spin-off series, I know Toad actually got uh, some of his as well. So let's go into star number two here, shining atop the pyramid. So this one, if I recall correctly, we're going to want to try to actually uh, get up on this area over here because we are going to want the wing cap to make things easier. Like it's not 100% necessary, but it's something that will make our lives a lot easier for getting to the top of the pyramid without worrying about dying as much. And whoops, I missed the timing on my jump there. I used to be really, really good at this timing as a kid, where I can get this right away, but I also used to play this game all the time as a kid. So, you can also get a um, shell here, and this is also where the red coin star uh, spawns. So, let's grab the wing cap, and I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like whenever you have the wing cap and you have the shell. So, pretty much you just get the two and they combine, which is pretty cool to me. And if you get up to this section over here, uh, some of these little uh, whirlpool areas, or sorry, quicksand areas, will summon these twisters. Uh, also, you can literally just hit these pokies like crazy with the Koopa Shell. But you can also lose the Koopa Shell very easily, especially when you're doing this little, uh, little area with the pyramid. So you can actually climb your way up there relatively easy, unless you fail like me, you know, you hit that little section and then you end up sliding down the entire pyramid. But let's get back in there, because as you guys saw there, the Koopa Shell, while it's great for climbing up the side of the pyramid, it's not the best for if you want to actually explore it and check out what is exactly is going on there. So let's go ahead and make our way all the way up again. You can also jump from that section apparently, I totally forgot. Uh, also, the triple jump for getting airborne with the wing cap 
is super easy as you saw there because oh you can also see the star from here. Uh, you can do you can be mid triple jump and then make your way up here. Uh, also, fun fact with that little twister, if you let it get you while you are in the wing cap mode, it will actually make you um, still do your spin. I thought it made you fly for some reason, but I guess it does not. I guess oh I'm thinking of the cannon, duh. But you can just jump right up there and grab the star. So, nice and quick little section there. And as you saw at the bottom of that pyramid, there is a door that leads in. So just like Lethal Lava Land, we have a level within a level. But the pyramid is actually huge on the inside. Which we'll find out when we go inside the Ancient Pyramid. So you can actually get the red coin, or not the red coin star. Well, you can get the red coins as well. But you can get the 100 coin star pretty easily by going into the, tur uh, the tournament. The pyramid, because um, there are quite a few stars in there. And also, I'm pretty sure that bomb just blew up the shy guy, or fly guy, so that was kind of weird. But I guess it worked. Worked in our favor. Let's try and kick him in the head. Uh, once you take out the head of those pokies, they're done. So, it's a nice, quick way of taking them down if you don't want to take them down piece by piece. Or if you just want a nice little challenge. And it, of course, makes the return of this little block. And also, these Goombas are kind of weird. I don't know why they're here. They're just kind of chilling as just random enemies. I'm not sure what brought them to the Shifting Sandlands, but, you know, they could have used, like, Goombas or something, you know, from the... I think Super Mario 2? I forget which one. But I'm gonna try to collect some of these, um, coins while we're over here. Aside from the red coins, of course, because I want to try and... Well, I'll collect a few of the red coins as they appear. But I'm trying to get as many coins as possible because I think we can probably get the 100 coin star once we go into the pyramid. Because you can't exit the pyramid just like the uh, volcano works. So it's best, you know, your first time going in there just to get the star out of the way and just to get it done. So let's go ahead and I can go get that red coin over there as well, but I'm not going to. Because like I said, I'm going to try and just get all these coins around these sections. I'm also going to show you where the, yeah, right over here is where the cannon is. And that's the only cannon in this level. Uh, there's also a little oasis over there, as you can see by that tree. And we can also start flying our way up the temple area. Um, oh gosh, I'm starting to go down. I don't want to go down. Stay angled a little bit more. There we go. Uh, make sure to try to avoid that bird because we do not want to lose our regular cap or anything. And okay, that bird just tried to dive bomb us. But if the talents get you, they will take away your uh, hat. So be very, very careful about that and be very mindful about that because otherwise you're going to lose your cap and it's just not a good time overall. And oh, I fell into the sand. I'm stuck just like in the snow, which is kind of funny to me. Let's go ahead and get this, I guess, because this will give us another five coins. Uh, if you pull back on the joystick, you will actually lessen the, um, the distance that you go on that. So it's pretty nice. As you can see on the surface here, there's really not a lot of coins. You know, aside from the... Oh gosh. Get out of there. There we go. I guess that worked. Um, aside from, of course, the pokies and everything, there's really not a lot of coins on the overworld. So if you want more coins, go inside the temple. So let's get that blue coin there. Hop in the twister. And let's go ahead and make our way over here. Now, this is either a life or this is five coins. I forget which it is. It's a life. So let's go ahead and... Oh, it's going to escape us. I was going to try to chase it, but I don't want to fall down. So let's go ahead without further ado and go into the temple. So here at the temple, also the sign that was um, back there up top, I just realized by the red coin star. It just tells you about the, uh, what do you call it, the Koopa shell again. You know, like most of those signs do by there. So there's a set of blue coins here. It's just three of them. But it's a nice little section to get your coins. So let's go ahead and take out this Goomba. And now that we're inside this pyramid, uh, we actually get introduced to a couple new enemies. Don't remember what they're called either, but they're like mummified thwomps and womps and such. Uh, there is also another one that we will see in a little bit that I won't spoil for you guys. We also gotta deal with this yellow quicksand, which seems to be just regular old sand, but you do start to sink over time into it. But you can jump your way out of it and also land on these little uh, platforms and such to make sure that you don't die. So let's see what 
this sign says. I'm not sure what this one is. If I can actually angle myself in front of it. So upon four towers, one must alight. Then at the peak shall sign the light. Okay, so it's just a little riddle for us. Let's get this this um one up. And I think this might actually be the uh, the box I'm thinking of that has coins. So let's make our way all the way along here. As you can see, this is much bigger than the temple. Or just, sorry, the volcano. So this section is... Um, basically the real level for shifting sandlands in my opinion. Because the pyramids where a lot of things happen and it's just one of the really cool sections and I tend to enjoy it quite a bit. I also heard a 1-up, I don't know where it went, so that one's lost forever I guess. So I keep missing my jumps. Across. And across. There we go. So up to 65 coins, let's check over here. Okay, there was a box over here, I wasn't losing my mind. And this just has another one up, never mind. So now we make our way upwards. Should be some coins around here. I think this just tells you about grabbing again, let's see. Yeah, it just tells you jump and hold the B button. And you got an amp here that's going to make your day terrible when it hits you while you're hanging above stuff. So let's go ahead and just hang our way around and try to collect all these coins. Um, I know this level, uh, there's not too much more than 100 coins. It's a little tough to get all of them, I guess, because you can miss them on the outside and then end up not getting all the money inside. Because I don't think that there's 100 coins inside. I think there's like 50 something or so, or 60 something or so. So if you want to try to get your 100 coin star, make sure you grab some from the outside as well. And of course I fell down. But this I can come down here and I can take out these Goombas and get two more coins. Because I totally forgot they were down here. So we're up to 76, 77, and we're going to be up to 78 with this one. Perfect. And a fast way to get up there, you can actually go along this section. Or it might be actually the other way. I might be going the wrong way here. But, oh yeah, I am going the wrong way. Whoops. But with that little, um, mummified swamp, I don't know what they call them. But pretty much the block that keeps going up and down over in this section, you can climb on top of them, um, as I will show you guys once it comes back down. Oh, apparently I wasn't standing close enough, that's what happened there. And oh gosh. Okay, you can also get crushed at the ceiling by them, which won't instantly kill you, but it will damage you. Try and get him to come back down. Okay, never mind. Apparently I am goofing terribly at this. Get him to come down, do the side jump. There we go. And now we can go after this Goomba, since we are back up here. And let's climb our way up. I gotta see where the other coins are. I know there's some over here. Yeah. So there are some along this little area, which this, if you fall down, you will end up on this little sand slide, as I call it, which you can jump across and do your kicks just like you would do with, um, when you're falling down certain slopes. But it's a lot tougher on this because the sand will get the better of you at a certain point. So let's go ahead and grab these coins here. And we know that there's an enemy down here because of the screen shake. And you get these cylinder little, like, thwomp looking dudes. So they will crush you and do the same amount of damage as a regular one. And then of course you have this heart for if you're taking any damage from these, uh, obstacle creature things. I don't know what they're called. I'm pretty sure they're like mummified womps or something, but... Oh well, you guys can correct me in the comments or something. I might post it on screen if I remember to. Uh, also these amps come into view, which is kind of funny. And they will chase you down over here briefly, and they go away. Uh, there are a few coins that were down there, as we can see that there was a coin on like the corners of those of that slide area. Uh, I think there's some this way. There are not. Never mind. So that means we have to go this way, I believe. Which we can ride this guy to get there easier, or we can just climb our way up. And there are plenty of coins here. And there we go. And there's a star right up there. So we go ahead and grab the 100 coin star, which we actually backflip perfectly into. And now we can make our way up here and go ahead and grab the star. And I think this is the right order because some of these stars are a little hard to tell which one is which. So let's see. Yeah, inside the ancient pyramid. This was the correct one. And now we're up to 12, uh, 12 levels. 12 lives. And we're up to 63 stars. 
So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and things here since we're about halfway done with the well, actually a little more than halfway done technically because we got four out of seven stars. Since you know three out of six is technically the halfway point for the core six, and then the hundred coin star is done. So if you guys all enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post videos. And comment below with the answer to the question today, which today was which Mario character deserves their own spin-off. Or you can comment below and say hi, I'll sponsor as many as you as I can, and I do read every single comment. So this has been Pen Dragon, and I'll see you guys next time.